Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for the Lights Out Bedtime Story? Good, because you're in for a treat tonight with Chapter 27 of Thing by David Williams. And tonight's chapter is called Custard Cream Induced Frenzy. And that follows on from the uh, very interesting chapter 26, A Volcanic Explosion of Tears, Snot and Dribble. Myrtle was still squashed into the baby seat, munching on crisps as the shopping trolley weaved in and out of the path of oncoming traffic. Beep, beep, screech, honk, honk, shut. Stop that trolley, cried father, out of the window of his little car. It contains some very important custard creams. And our daughter, shouted mother. Oh, yes, yes, and our daughter. Let's be mindful of the billing. We don't want to upset our little angel. Oh, yes, Myrtle first, of course. Mr. Meek, swerving the car through the traffic, so it was now parallel with the trolley. Brum. Grab a hold of the bonnet, he ordered Myrtle. I'm busy, replied the girl. To be fair, she was busy as she had just popped open a packet of custard creams. Oh, please don't eat them all, Petal, pleaded father, reaching out to the window to grab hold of the trolley. I need them for Thing. Grrr, came no growls. Thing's eyes swiveled and zoomed in on the biscuits. The sight of them sent the creature into a custard cream in just frenzy. Grrr. Immediately, Thing stopped biting father's finger. My oh, my finger's still there, exclaimed father, inspecting the deep bite marks in his <laughs> on his digit. And then the thing leaped from the speeding car onto the trolley. Doink! Grrr! It rolled over the packets of food. Rustle, 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 before leaping at the girl, snatching a biscuit right out of her hand. Trump! Get off me, you filthy little beast! shouted Myrtle, bashing the creature away with one hand as she helped herself to another custard cream from the packet with another. In all the commotion, she failed to see what was ahead. A double-decker bus in the middle of the road. Mr. Meek stamped on the brakes of his little car. Screech! It came to a juddering halt. Mr. and Mrs. Meek's faces squashed against the windscreen. Scrotch! Myrtle, look out! screamed Mother. It was too late. The supermarket trolley walloped into the bus. Boosh! In the blink of an eye, the trolley and all its contents were sailing over the bus and flying through the air. Grrr! Thing shot across the sky. Grrr! Mr. and Mrs. Meek looked on, open mouthed in wonder, as they saw their daughter somersaulting while still eating a biscuit, munch, until the girl landed on the road with an almighty thump. The end of chapter 27 of Thing by David Williams Custard Cream Induced Frenzy Here on the Lights Out Podcast Bedtime Stories for Boys and Girls Around the World Good night.